Hey, what's up you guys? It's another whole video and in this video I'm excited because we're going to do another spell. And today's spell is going to be on page 242. A candle and pin spell to mend a broken heart. Yes. May not, may not look like I have one, but I still have one over my ex. So, and I've tried getting over it. I have. Um, there's just those little tiny broken bits left over, those little scratches and cuts. We need to fix those. So it's 100% a shiny, beautiful diamond once again. So it's late Saturday afternoon. It already is late afternoon, almost evening now. So we gotta do this now. So I'm gonna need a small box of straight pins. The ones with the colored heads, these ones right here. A white beeswax candle or a very soft wax candle in which you can stick the pins in. And that's pretty much it. So let's start with taking out the sticker on the bottom. I don't know why it has that. It's, oh wait, is it supposed to stay on there? I'm so confused. I don't know how these candles work. So we're just going to go ahead and leave that back on there. I think you're supposed to not take that off. Alright, so the first step is going to be using the pins, make a heart shape on the front of the candle. And in the center, draw an arrow in pins. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna take our little pin box. That's freaking terrifying. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a purple one. We're gonna draw with the purple one. We're gonna go ahead and carve out a um, heart with it. All right, so that proved to be actually very difficult, surprisingly. Um, one boob is bigger than the other on the heart. Um, I don't know if you can tell because it's all the same color and my camera may not focus, but uh, one side's basically bigger than the other. Oh well, not everyone's heart is perfect anyway. Um, so there we go, just perfect it a little bit more, carve out a little bit more so you can actually see where the heart is at. We want a thicker heart. There we go. And that is that. So we made a heart shape on the front of the candle, and in the center we're going to draw an arrow in pins. So I think we're going to draw, so we're going to stick these into there, like that. And we're going to keep going in the shape of an arrow, like one of those cheesy old hearts with arrows sticking through them, because Cupid got them. Cupid got to them. So I keep sticking these through. I'm kind of scared. I'm like pushing too hard and they're going to poke out to the other side and poke me. <laughs> but uh, what's cool about this is I read up on these spells beforehand. So I like figure out what they do and what they're about. And it's pretty cool. Like they kind of explain to you like, hey, it's for this situation. And you think about it and you're like, that makes sense. That would make me feel better. Kind of like when you have a bad thought. If you write that bad thought on paper and crumple it up and throw it away. It won't come out into into the real world. It'll just be a bad thought that went away. And I, I need to start practicing that more and more at work, especially with people, customers, and stuff like that, because, ooh, I can't handle snobby people. But, you know, what are you going to do? Got to deal with it. Almost done. We're just going to go out a little bit more. And what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to light this and melt the candle. And all the pins are supposed to fall out of it as it melts down. So it's actually going to, you're not going to be able to see it until the aftermath of like it melted out. So it's going to be a long while. Um, this is a very crooked arrow. But you know, I think I'm okay with that because love is crooked. It's a really weird thing. It's never correct itself anyway. Let's draw, let's put another one right there for a point. That literally just stuck into my skin and I didn't even feel it. So an arrow. Can you see it a little bit? Alright. I kind of see it. It's like down and it goes like that. But uh, that's that. Next we're going to say... Now we're going to say heartache, heartbreak, melts away. That I may live and laugh and love again. Now we're going to light the candle. Once again, heartache, heartbreak melts away that I may live and love again. Now we're going to blow three times softly into the flame. Candle burn, sorrow turn, turn away, burn away, that I may live and laugh and love again. Now we're going to let the candle burn through until the, uh, all the pins fall out. And then after that, what we're going to do is put the pins in a small box with the lid, which is probably just going to be 
this again, and I'm just gonna find a different place for those, or something else. I can make, probably make a makeshift one. And um, we'll dig a deep hole somewhere in my backyard that, you know, <laughs> my parents won't know about, hopefully. And uh, it's gonna be where nothing grows, really. And um, we're gonna bury the pins, and as I cover them, I'll say the spell of words again. Um, and then uh, it says to plant a bush or strong green plant on top of where the box is buried. I don't really have anything like that, but I will find something, okay? So we'll be right back when this melts all the way through. Okay guys, I wanted to update you real quick. We got not melted. I'm going to take this little box that I created. All the pins fell out. And interestingly enough, it didn't even burn all the way, all the way through. But, you know, they fell out because I put them about halfway. Um, I made this cute little box, this little makeshift. I'm going to seal it up once I put these pins in there. All the pins started falling out one by one. Um, a lot of them fell out at the same time, but now they're stuck in this damn wax. Seal it up, and we're going to go ahead and tape this close. Go ahead and bury it with those little seeds. Go ahead and plant that over. I'm going to put it at a little pressure because it wouldn't crush, and now it does. Okay. There's that. Cover that up. And if something grows, something grows. If it doesn't, I'm not very good at planting. But that's the spell for today, you guys.